All right, we're shooting a quick video showing how to use Multi-Dash, how to connect everything for the iPhone platform. Um, what you're going to need is an OBD2 Elm uh, 327 Wi-Fi enabled one, not a Bluetooth. Uh, the reason why I designed or I developed this application with Wi-Fi instead of Bluetooth is because the connectivity with the Bluetooth always gave us problems and it never gave us real-time data all the time. But with the Wi-Fi, it gets connected and it's going to give you real-time data immediately when you connect to it. So what we want to do now is, now that we got the OBD2 connected, you're going to go into your settings. In your settings, you're going to go in here and you're going to wait till it shows the OBD2 Wi-Fi. You're going to connect to it. As soon as you get your check mark here on the left-hand side, then it's going to be connected. Then right now I'm using an iPhone X. All right, and this is the opening dashboard for multi-dash. So we're going to go ahead and start this here. You hit the start button here and it's going to connect everything to it. As soon as everything is connected, we'll begin driving here so we can show you exactly the real-time data is being provided on here on the application. Alright, as you can see, real-time data is being provided right into the applications. You got your RPMs, you got your fuel level, you have your miles per hour, of course your oil and temperature gauges on the bottom there, and your battery voltage in the center. Now this is the DigiDash version. Apologize for the shaking here. I'm trying to record and drive on this uh, country road at the same time. Alright, now we're going to change the interface on here. So we're going to go with the 720S. So the thing about this application is going to provide you real data immediately. So regardless of what interface you're using, as long as your OBD2 um, is connected into your OBD2 port, the scan tool, you're not going to have any issues with receiving real-time data. All right, we're still pulling up on a stop sign here. As you can see, everything stopped there. Uh, one thing I want to do is launch. Let's do the Lamborghini. Select the Corsa mode. Now this is just like the interface of a Lamborghini Aventador. Oop, sorry there. Let's pick that up. Go ahead and hit the throttle down so you can see the RPMs moving there along with the. Uh, miles per hour now here you have your 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 oil temperature your coolant temperature and your fuel along with the miles per hour and rpms now this is for those that like to do launches you just want to watch your rpms when you're launching through now you can use this one here click back on a sport mode to go back to your normal uh, ventador dashboard where it's a sport mode thing we're going to put on here is going to be the Valkyrie. Now this is the Austin Martin Valkyrie user interface that I developed into this application. Now I also have this application as a separate app if you just want this interface only um, and it's called RPE Dash and it shows the Valkyrie's uh, yet to be released vehicle user interface. All right, and then we're going to click out of there and we're going to go into the iDash now this iDash one is only on an iPad app that I created for the iPhone iPad plat excuse me iPad platform can't talk today um, and basically it provides all the data that you really need when you're driving a vehicle your RPMs your miles per hour uh, you know if you care about your fuel range depending on how you drive how many miles it states you can go on that one um, fuel tank there oh, apologize for my uh, settings there from Instagram popping up. Uh, you have your voltage, you have your outside temperature, and you have your intake temperature all on here, along with the fuel gauge on the bottom, your oil, and your coolant temps. Now, click off that there. We're gonna go into the Urus. Now this Urus Dash one comes with a um, map on the left-hand side, and it's real-time map. It's gonna ask you for permission to get your real-time location when you first um, open this application when you get on this interface and it provides the map provides you your miles per hour your rpms 
your fuel gauge and your coolant and the same here with the Lambo dash um, interface you can click on the Corsa button that's right there above the miles per hour and it'll take you directly to the Aventador screen now this is the same uh, screen similar to what's on the Urus uh, that was just released by Lamborghini so I added this into the application it also has its own standalone application called Urus dash and iTunes flip right back and you hit the start here and we'll go back to the original one that we got into now this is called multi dash since it has seven different interfaces on here I am releasing one for the iPad platform uh, the second week of this month of October so basically next week you should see multi dash pro and that'll only be available for the iPad platform um, so you have your iPad mini your regular iPad that's a 9.7 you have your iPad Pro, that's a 10.5, I believe, and you have a, the, the newest iPad Pro, which is 12.5 or 9. can't remember the exact size of that screen, but you should be able to use that for those of you that use your iPads and your vehicles. And I know a majority of you, at least from the emails that I receive from my current dashboards in the App Store, own iPad minis. Um, and or you're using your old iPhone 7 plus or 6 plus or 8 plus um, so I mean these these dashboards work this current application works on any iPhone so if you have the iPhone 5 6 7 the plus the iPhone X that it's currently using right now um, you'll be able to use this application on there download it uh, of course you're gonna need the OBD2 scan tool now I have it on my website I have a link directly to the one that I purchased from Amazon. So if you're wondering which one to purchase, just go to Empire App Designs, and that's uh, designs with a Z, not an S, dot com. And uh, you're going to click on the RPE uh, link from the menu, and you should see it as you scroll on that page. You'll see a link directly to purchase that scan tool, and I believe they got them at $16.99 or $17.99. Now, when I purchased mine, over a year ago when I first started developing these uh, digital dashboard apps um, I paid about $22 for them so they're quite inexpensive now um, but I look forward to actually doing a bulk order to sell them at a lower price I'm sorry there Gotta get some velcro or something to hold this down um, but yeah I hope to get those LBD2 scan tools um, at a cheaper price for everyone that's really interested in running this uh, digital dashboard in their vehicle and don't want to spend an arm and a leg on the actual OBD2 scan tool. Uh, I know this application right now I have it at $5.99 for all seven digital dashboards but I have the um, you know individual ones for a dollar so that they're not that expensive and I figured you know um, people are going to want to use it and the OBD2 scan tools is pricey enough there's no point in me raising the price you know more than a dollar for the individual ones and uh, of course this one here with the seven different interfaces which like I said earlier um, beginning next week if not the beginning towards the middle or end of next week if you have an iPad multi dash pro will be available on iTunes uh, so stay tuned for that and pricing on that's gonna be the same as this one $5.99 um, so you should be able to you know download it for a very low price and um, Hopefully you already have an OBD2 scan tool, Wi-Fi uh, enabled one. Um, but if not, like I said, go to my website, EmpireAppDesigns.com, and uh, click on the link that goes directly to Amazon. Purchase that. Now, that's not my link specifically. It's uh, someone else's uh, store in Amazon that's selling those. Um, but in, in the future, I will be carrying those and uh, provide them at a lower price. I'm trying to get them down to around... You know ten dollars if I can um, and that's including shipping so we'll see how that works out I just have to get a bulk order ordered um, besides that if you want to follow me check me out at digital dashboard apps on Instagram and that's basically where you'll find me either there or on this uh, YouTube page at Empire App Designs um, if you have any further questions uh, you can email me at Eric at Empire App Designs com and you know if you got a question about the interfaces or you're having an issue connecting the application or if you have an idea for a digital dashboard app that you would like seen in, in the app store uh, then we can work something out and if 
and I'm, I'm down for any ideas you may have. All right, take care.